Good morning, y'all. Today is day 15 in the San Francisco Daily Vlog series, and today we are riding into San Francisco and we're seeing some sights. I'm excited. Let's get into it. The plan is simple for today. Park at Golden Gate parking lot, right over the bridge. See five different iconic staircases throughout the city of San Francisco. Finish at Coit Tower. Hopefully it's open so I can go up to the top and see some sights of the San Francisco area. After that, bike back to the car, back over the Golden Gate Bridge and come home. Easy as that. Let's do it. I am not going to vlog while going over the Golden Gate Bridge because one, you guys have already seen a lot of footage of the Golden Gate Bridge and two, it's just a safety hazard. So on to the first location right now. After a grueling 30 minute bike ride with lots of elevation, We've made it to our first destination, the Lion Street Steps. Okay, we're going to the top now. Guys, we got a problem. That was not even, that was like a preliminary staircase. It's not even the real staircase. The real one's right behind me. Okay, so I finally reached the actual Leon Street Steps. Views are awesome. That's where I came from. Now to go up it. So currently, we're at the southeasternmost side of the Presidio Park. And these are probably the most famous steps in San Francisco. Because of, look at this. The landscape art is crazy. All the way up. It's so nice. Very nice shot. There it is, y'all. We've reached the top. The Leon Street Steps, San Francisco, California. Man, that's a climb. We've made it to our second destination. The Peter Macarini steps on the corner of Broadway and Kearney Street. See it behind me? And it overlooks a really nice street in downtown San Francisco. I'm, I'm gonna hike to the top of this, see what view you can get. Not as nice as the Leon Street steps, I do have to say that, but still, Steps in the city of San Francisco. Just more ways to work your legs. We've made it to the top of the steps and you can see Broadway Street down there. That's where it came in on. And then you can see Kearney Street go all the way down through downtown San Francisco. Really nice, really nice view from here. You can see a Hilton Hotel. I'm out of breath as usual. But I'm, I'm biking and walking upstairs, what do you expect? Walking down the steps now. Or actually the middle of the street actually. Steps are really on the side of the street. But man, this incline is insane. My calves are gonna be so dead by the end of today. Ooh. Not as beautiful as the last street, but nonetheless, steps in San Francisco, Peter. Macarini Street. Overall, really good. I biked maybe two, three minutes. I reach destination number three. Vallejo, the Vallejo Steps, right behind me. This is the view from the bottom. Looking out, you can see the Bay Bridge and the Bay Ocean area, as well as a downhill drop right in front of us.
we've reached the top. Whew. Outer breath, of course. But wow, look at this view. Overall, compared to the first two steps, this is gonna be the second best. Obviously, Leon street steps are gonna be number one. Best landscaping, no trash. These Vallejo street stairs are gonna be number two. It is nice, but the landscaping is not maintained as well. And there's also garbage uh, throughout the entire steps. So that place is at number two. And in last place so far, we have um, the Peter Macarini steps. It's just plain steps going up Kearney Street. So that place is at number three, but we shall see. We still have two more steps to investigate. Let's go. We've made it to our fourth destination. It's called the Filbert Street Steps. Currently, we're on the corner of Filbert and Sansome, or Sansom, S-A-N-S-O-M-E, right here. And the steps are right through there. steps. Koi Tower is back there, but I'm not going to go up yet because I have another staircase to climb. Overall, these steps are really beautiful. I'd rate them second in the list so far because really nice landscaping, nice open path. Although it was a bit narrow, I still enjoyed it. And the shade made it definitely a little bit more cooler to walk up the stairs. So I appreciate that. The tall trees that they built definitely helped in that sense. I had to throw on my mask because people here are a little paranoid. I decided to just throw it on just to keep things moving and so other people don't get scared. So because Filbert Street did take the number two spot, these are the standings as of right now. Number one, Leon Street, obviously. Best landscaping, trash free. Number two, Filbert Street. Really nice, really nice shaded overlook. Um, zigzag steps, really like that. Number three comes in as Vallejo Street. It was pretty decent, but there was trash and a little bit of graffiti. Number four, the Peter Macarini Street steps. It was just plain steps. We have reached our fifth and final steps destination. It's here on Greenwich and Sansome, or Sansom. Still not sure how to pronounce that, but it's called the Greenwich Steps. I believe it's gonna be similar to the Filbert Street Steps, because it's going straight up to the Coit Tower as well. And it's going through partially the same neighborhoods. It's only about a 30 second to a minute walk from the Filbert Steps. But here's the steps at its first look. Thank you. 
And there you have it. We've reached the top of the Greenwich Steps and it spouts you out right at the Coit Tower. Very nice. No extra walking, just right here. Coit Tower, it's perfect. Now, if I was to give this a ranking, I'd say I have to bump out the Filbert Street out of the number two position. The brick steps and the shadows, the canopy of trees just made it so enjoyable. It felt like you were walking through like a really old, old sidewalk or steps. It got that really old fashioned feel. I really like that. So it does take number two in the rankings. I really hope you enjoyed this segment on steps and popular steps in the San Francisco area. Right now, we're here at Coit Tower. We're gonna check it out and we'll catch you inside. So this Coit Tower behind me was actually built in 1933 and it stands 210 feet tall, looking over the San Francisco skyline and the Bay Area. You can also see the Golden Gate Bridge from this Coit Tower, but unfortunately, I don't think it's open right now because of coronavirus. The lobby does look empty, but still, really nice views around here. Like this, we have this little field area and the Bay Bridge over there. Through these trees, you can see some of downtown San Francisco. Taking a look onto this side. You probably can't see it through the camera, but San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge, all the way over there. Unfortunately, the Coit Tower was in fact closed, so I'm not able to go up to the top, but we got to see some nice views out onto the bay right here. There's Alcatraz just past there. But for right now, I think I'm gonna head back, except instead of going back through Broadway Street and up through the Presidio, I'm gonna take the Fisherman's Wharf way. I'm gonna go through all the piers and the businesses, and I might stop by at a restaurant and get something small to eat, because it's lunchtime and I'm pretty hungry. So yeah, I'm just gonna be going down these Greenwich steps again. Really beautiful steps and we'll see where it takes me. All right, let's go eat. finishing up my fries in Fisherman's Wharf. I am going to end the video there. We did have a productive day though. We saw five different steps, iconic famous steps in San Francisco. We walked up to the Coit Tower and we tried some California in and out So in my opinion, we did have a very productive day. And with that, I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye guys. And listen. <laughs>